welcome back to my channel. I'm Morgan Monet. Today's video, we are going to be comparing the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet to the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, hi. I'm Morgan Monet, as I just said, but I create videos on luxury accessories such as handbags and SLGs. I also like to sprinkle in a few skincare videos. So if you like those kind of topics, you should definitely subscribe by hitting the red button below and joining my Lux family. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's get started. So I featured my Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet and my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet in my entire SLG collection video and was asked to um, kind of compare these two items. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I'll definitely link it both above and below. But let's get into this comparison, you guys. Okay, you guys, so the first category of comparison for these two wallets is going to be material options because both of them come in a variety. So when looking at the Sarah wallet, you actually have six different material options that you can choose from. And it's ranging all the way from the monogram canvas, which is the one that I have, all the way up to monogram on prompt leather. So I will actually detail down below the six different um, materials Material options that you can get for the Sarah wallet. In comparison, the Zippy wallet has seven different material options. So you actually get one more material option when going for this type of wallet. And it goes all the way from the basic monogram canvas. I have this in the Damier Abin canvas, but then you can also get it in this beautiful like Mahina um, leather. You also get it in the monogram on prompt leather. So you just have a few extra options or actually just one more option in material when it comes to the Zippy wallet. And I'll also um, list down below in the details what type of um, material options also you can get with the Zippy wallet. Next, we're going to discuss the size comparisons between these two wallets. And you guys, it's they're so close. They are so, so close in size. I mean, even if I were to align them, you can kind of see that the zippy peeks out behind, but it's a minimal, minimal difference. But I just want to be as detailed as possible. So when looking at the Sarah wallet, it's seven and a half inches in length and 3.9. So basically, four inches in height and the zippy wallet is 7.7 .7 inches in length and 4.3 inches in height very minimal um size differences but that is there is a slight difference between the two so guys, let's talk about the category that shocked me the most, and that is the price points between these two items. So the Sarah wallet is the less expensive option when looking at the two. It ranges in price point between $720 all the way up to $950, depending on what material option you select. Um, I have this guy in the monogram canvas, so in the boutique, it retails for $720. And twenty dollars comparing um, that to the zippy wallet it is more expensive than the Sarah wallet so the zippy ranges in price point between $850 all the way up to $1,390. And this is as of August 2020. So um, when looking at just the basic Damier um, Abin canvas, this guy is $850, which makes this wallet $135 more than my Sarah wallet. So this is my favorite part. I'm going to be showing you guys the capacity of each of these wallets. So shockingly enough, although the Sarah wallet is less expensive, it has more compartments or more card slots. So the Sarah wallet actually has 16 card holder slots. 
So let me get close to the camera. Once you open up this um, button, you have four card slots right here on the front of the wallet. And what's actually nice is that they're thick enough to where if you had to double up on your cards, you can. And I've done that before in the past and it hasn't um, torn the or ripped the threads at all. So once you, you have those four card slots, when you hop into the, the, I guess this is the front of the wallet, you then have six card slots. So three on each side. And then you also have a slot in the back for if you had to hold maybe receipts or um, extra cash. I don't personally put my cash in this back slot. I really do put receipts in, in this um, pocket. And then of course you have the zipper in the middle, which I like to use it for change. And it's actually really cute. The zipper has the LV pull on it. Let me see if it will focus, it may not. But um, I, I do love that it does have the LV detailing on the inside and it's actually a very smooth zipper. Very easy and very functional. Um, and then in the back, you also have six card slots and then another pouch back here. So this very back pouch is where I like to keep all of my cash when I use this wallet. What's also amazing is that on the back of this wallet, you also have another pocket. So again, if you maybe want have more receipts that you have to hold, or maybe you have to carry a checkbook, that can fit in this back pocket. When looking at the Zippy wallet, hence the name, you use the pull zipper to open the wallet. And what I love is that the zipper actually has the Louis Vuitton name um, kind of engraved on the, the zipper pull. But when looking in the wallet, this actually has um, 12 card slots or uh, the capacity to hold at least 12 credit cards. So just when opening up, this wallet also has an accordion style open and it mirrors itself on each side. So basically what you may see on the front is the same thing that you will see in the back. So when looking at the front of the wallet, it does have six card slots, three on each side, and then a back compartment, which I like to use to carry cash. And then you just have this open space on the inside of this. Uh, of this wallet. So what I typically like to do when I was using this is um, keep my checkbook in just this open slot. Then you have this open compartment in the middle, which I would use to hold or carry um, receipts. Then you have another slot in the middle, which again, if you wanted to, you could easily put your checkbook in here. And it actually has a zipper compartment up at the top, which holds your coins. And similar to the Sarah wallet, this also has the beautiful um, LV pull um, zipper tag. And it also has a very smooth um, zipper. And then you have the same type of mirrored compartment on the back. So six card slots and then a back pocket to hold cash. But what's shocking is that for this wallet to be $130 more than the Sarah wallet, it has less of a capacity um, than the Sarah wallet. So hmm, gives you something, just a little bit of something to think about. The last category that we are going to discuss together, you guys, is wallet aesthetics. And what I mean by that is when looking at these two wallets, the Sarah wallet is for sure, no matter um, which material you, you are selecting, it is going to always be more casual of a wallet when compared to the Zippy wallet. Because of the pull um, zipper, because of the gold um, themed hardware, it just always has a more dressier feel than compared to the Sarah wallet. But that's also just my personal opinion. You guys may have um, a different take when looking at these two wallets. But I also think that that helps people um, when deciding which 
wallet to choose from. If you're a more casual person, in your day-to-day -day life, then by all means, go for the Sarah wallet 100%. But if you're more of a dressy person and you like having like the gold um, zipper and the exposed um, gold tag, then you for sure should go with the zippy wallet. All right, you guys, so that's the end of this video. I really do hope that it helped you um, gain an understanding when looking at the Zippy wallet compared to the Sarah wallet. But um, I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!